All right, we are back for game three. This is a bit of a longer break than I thought. I got some people knocking on my door about uh, some room stuff. Some you don't have to lie. Just tell people you were taking a dump. Um. Just tell really? them you had. Why do I even bring you loaf, on? The giant channel. loaf in the oven. That's, that's it had not, to come out. If, okay. All right, we are back for game three. Yeah, this is a bit of a longer so break. Than, yeah. Apparently, I didn't mute that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, anyway, so we're going to get into this game. This is game number three. And if you're on the stream, well, hope you're ready. All right, uh, are you paused at 10 seconds, Peter? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to get paused up real quick myself. All right, three, two, one, go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Are we good? 16, 17, All right, cool. 18. Awesome. All right, silence. Hello and welcome to the Warcraft The Audio Commentary. This is game number three for the best of three of the Raytheon Cup, or whatever it's pronounced, however it's pronounced. Chinese people, let me know. Uh, or whoever knows Chinese, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm joined by my co-caster, Bidu. Hello. Hey, man. What's up? How you doing? How are things? I'm How are things? How are things? How are things? I'm doing great. So we have Thu spawning in as the purple human in the upper right corner of the map. This is, of course, Amazonia, and his opponent is going to be WFZ spawning in as the blue undead in the bottom left. Yes, he is. Great map. Uh, really, one of my favorite maps that's been non-standard for a while. I mean, it's, it's a, we generally consider this a standard map now, but, you know, it's, it's really not standard. Blizzard does not endorse this map at all. Why is it your favorite map? Well, it's my favorite non-standard map, I would say. Like, long-standing. I just, I've always really liked this map. At least, uh, I don't know. What I don't the, know if there's some form of bias there because you are an undead player. Does that have anything to do with that, or like observing you? No, mean, or I what? just, I, I like the way the map looks. I, it's just, it's such, it's got a really nice atmosphere. Really? I, I, I really do. I do like it. It's, it's. I like I the think water. It looks atrocious. Really? I, yeah, I, I think the whole layout is just really awful. Really? I, I see. It's one of my favorites. I don't know. And wow. I think it looks really good. I think it's a really well designed map. But. Wow. I guess different strokes for different folks. Of course, we're going to see Thu going with the Archmage first. And this is He's making a somewhat offensive scout tower. He doesn't want to go too far out from his base here, but he is going to make it so it's a little bit more difficult for uh, Mr. WFZ to come in here and harass his peasants and such things in the middle, you know, the, the early game mainly. Yeah, going to pick up that Claws of Attack plus six as well. Of course, the Death Knight is out as well. And here we're just going to see Thu going ahead and creeping out the good old, good old Green Camp as well. Yep, uh, WFC going pretty standard. Uh, I'm Ted Fiend's build. With that quick Nerubian as well, um, maybe he assumes that Thu is going to do a lot of hit and runs on this map. I mean, WFC is very, he knows all about Thu's playstyle. And uh, likewise with Thu, knowing all about WFC's playstyle. So um, everything happens for a reason. I've never seen a Nerubian that quickly with a Ted Fiend's build, but. Oh, no, no, you always, you always get the Nerubian really early against human players for months now uh, because. They don't. You don't see it too much anymore from human players, but you have to get the Nerubian early on just because they can send one footman into your base and wreak havoc on your acolytes if you don't get the early Nerubian tower. And we're actually going to see through. He's trying to take down that Arcane Tower, not able to do it just quite in time, just a little bit too slow. A little bit unfortunate for him right there. And of course, one of those skeletons is go on over to the Archmage as 12 experience. So he's happy about that. Yeah, and Thu does have Players eight eight attack. peasants for potential wood, so I think he's building more as well. Yeah. He Excuse me, he is building more as well, uh, which means he's probably going to go for another expansion uh, type style build. So, um, I assume he's going to start that as soon as possible. WFC uh, continuing to lurk around the corners and stuff. Hasn't yet picked off any peasant um, kills or anything. So, I mean, that's yet to come with this expansion. But Thu's Definitely. actually being very patient. He's actually going to creep out the Goblin Merchant before he does decide to do anything like that. And the lumber mill is going down really early as well. So this is pretty. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. Is this like? Well, it's just it's one of the ways you can play. You can you can. It's not a bad idea if you want to play safe to go ahead and creep out level three first before you go for your expansion. It's actually it used to be very standard to see this every game. Uh, and what would happen was I, I don't. Honestly, I don't even remember remember what happened, but humans started deciding that they were cock they were confident enough to go ahead and go for some very early, uh, very fast expansions before they were level three, and so that kind of happened. Will we see that still on the creep? Who's gonna get it? Oh, the experience does go to that Death Knight for the big Mister whatever he is. What is he? A Windigo? What is that called? Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Yeah, it was a Sasquatch. <laughs> Bigfoot. 
Yeah, well, I know, but I couldn't remember what they, what they're called in uh, in Warcraft Three for a second. True, 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 true. I was gonna say, uh, I, I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say because it was totally off, and you would have laughed at me like you just did. So I guess there was no <laughs> avoiding it. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna see that expansion coming down very, very late from from Thu. I mean, it's it's very late. It hasn't even started creeping yet, and WFC's already at uh, halfway done his tier two tech. Does have a, a good number of fiends, two third one on the way, and not forgetting that Ziggurat as well. <laughs> Very nice by WFC, learning from uh, his mistakes from the earlier games. And, I mean, WFC's Death Knight's really, really low on HP. And yeah. who's going to push this back? Uh, he might actually be able to pick off all the experience from this as well. Um, and start his expansion without any worries. I mean, the skeletons are big worries, but now, um, with WFC having that low of a hero, he's going to have to get pushed back. Pick him level 2, actually, and that was really nice, but he's going to have to get pushed back for the most part, because that Death Knight has taken a little oh, bit more damage than he should have. It's taken quite a bit of damage. And Thu, you know, he, but the thing about this is, is if you go for the level 3 before your expansion, the, the dynamic changes. Like, you're, you're, you're not even going to try to kill the expansion, because it's just not going to happen. You're just going to try to, you know, maybe kill some peasants. And this this Death Knight, though, he's taking a lot of hits right now. Is oh, he's taking a lot of hits. Oh, there is. He's oh, he's gonna actually TP out. Wow, that is really rough for him. And the Archmage is gonna come straight down into this base, and he's gonna maybe see if he can't get a sniper or a kill on it. Maybe it's not gonna happen. But the question is, does Thu know that? Is he gonna run in here and try to kill it? Looks I don't like think he's not. He's going to. It's a pretty uh, scary situation to do that. The Nurubian is there. Tier two now um, is there, so he could just buy a pot anyway. There's no real point in doing that um, at that point. But the expansion is almost up here. The halfway done. There is an arcane tower, and that lumber mill's there um, for Thu as well, so he can build guard towers whenever he wants. Not sure if he's going to pick up on game two and and maybe get the hint that maybe towers are cool, but I think it's going to come down to uh, what he scouts WFC doing. And yeah. WFC is going for that lich, slaughterhouse, and then the tech to tier three. So we're going to see the same thing um, that we saw in game two. If you guys check Skeleton. the uh, um, check Sorry, the game. Sorry, killed one peasant. It's going to kill a second one over here. Players forces are under a oh, wow. skeleton. Nice skeleton. Right after the arcane, right, or right as the arcane finishes, really. Level four being picked up on the archmage. Generally, when you play like this too, one thing you generally see the archmage do uh, is try to creep to level five really quickly, which, uh, you know, it, it's it's mainly because you know the harass. I think all of this came back from the time around when Lucifer came back and kind of revolutionized the matchup in certain senses, in some senses of certain ways, uh, where we started to see undeads actually able to hold their base by the just by the base itself, just making some spirit towers and actually being able to defend. Um, of course, that's not exactly what's happening right here, but we do see level 4 on that Archmage. He does have a scroll of the beast, so he can probably come in here and do a whole lot of damage if he wants to use that right now and try to kill some Aquites. I don't know if he's going to. He couldn't really get a great angle for casting that because he's got his water elementals kind of... All his units are just really far. Oh, he is going to use it. There that. he goes. There he goes. He gets another water elemental out and says, you know what, Sod the other thing. I'm just going to go for it over here and do as much damage as I can. And not and a bad right idea. Now he's, yeah, he's got a great position here. I mean, that tech to tier 3, the only thing that's in range to attack is the Nerubian, but it's way out of range if uh, Thu sits in the back of the base. And he's stalling so much mining time from WFC. This is so essential. Like, look at all these Acolytes that aren't even going on the mine at all. Yeah, absolutely insane. I mean, this is really, really strong play coming in from Thu right now. Just a great time. Realizing he has a great time to come in here and actually do a ton of damage and then utilizing it and utilizing the items that he got. He's already placed a Sentry Ward down, so if there was Burrow, I don't know if there is, but if there is, he can pretty much go ahead and keep on focusing a Fiend if he wanted to focus Fiends. And alternatively, you know... The Death Knight's getting focused! The Death Knight's getting focused! Not to mention he's already picked up three Acolytes. The Death Knight is getting, like, so low. That statue's there, but wow, Thu has done way more than enough. Um, continuing to pick off skeletons. Uh, probably going to pick up another Acolyte, too. Even if it runs away, I think the range is going to be okay. Oh, nice coil going down there. And a second water elemental coming down. Thu is on a freaking Tyrant here, just trying to do so much damage. Keep tech is halfway done. Um, and, oh my god, he's getting oh. Zeppelin as well. The Zeppelin the is going to be so good. He does have that Shredder uh, in the Zeppelin as well, if he wants to do some more damage. Yeah, and, and there it is. Yeah. It's gonna drop it down and maybe maybe go for something. Th those things you can never underestimate how much damage they do. They do 34 to 61 normal damage. Absolutely insane. It's like a ghoul getting six attacks at once, roughly. Yeah, and really Thu's Archmage getting in a bit of trouble here. He might actually pick it up and drop it away. That Zeppelin's getting in a lot of trouble as well. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna lose that Zeppelin. Is he? Is he? He might not. Wow. He's actually not gonna lose the Zeppelin. Maybe. Oh my god, he might actually pick up and run away with it. He does have to be a little bit wary of that lich in the statue, but that is that is it, actually. That's all he has to worry about there. And he can actually go ahead and... If he can keep that alive, then he can just repair the Zeppelin with his peasants. 
Yep, and Thu's throwing down a bunch of towers at his main base. He's already got the two guard towers that are going to be finished at his expansion. Um, the shop just about done as well. And wow, I can't believe that Zeppelin survived with 4 <laughs> HP. Not to wow. mention the Shredder and the Archmage got out there. No problems. I mean, looking at no, WFC's economy right now, he's at 100 gold um, at tier at tier 3. I mean, so even if he does get the Destroyer... Oh, the Archmage part, taking a lot of damage. Got a TP at 15 HP, getting coiled and Novid at the same time. Really, really close. And will he actually die? No, he put, put him right into that Zeppelin. Oh, and he's going to have to be really careful. Had to pop out of the Zeppelin just because that Lich could have one-shot the Zeppelin. But the Lich did not. Wow, I didn't even see that. Good call. Good call. But yeah, that could have been a sticky situation for Thu. Um, with that Zeppelin being so low, he does have to repair that, I think, because that's a little scary at this point. And um, WSC is going for the main base, which is a really good call. He can cancel all these towers, which he's going to he's gonna try to do that. He's going to cancel the first one. And the second one's going to get targeted as well. And WSC doing a really good job at holding this. Yeah. Or trying to push through, I guess. He's not really holding it. I mean, considering how far behind he is in terms of how much damage Sue was able to do at his main base, I mean, this is this is very good play coming in from WFC. Unfortunately, Thu has been able to get an Arcane Tinctum up, and he's going to start making Breakers, which is what he needs to push this back. He was able to go ahead and take down one of those Goblin Shredders. You can see those Militia maybe coming in a little bit more aggressive on the Fiends, but we have a Destroyer now finally on the field, and that's going to be pretty effective against that high-level Archmage. Of course, we do have another Shredder that was bought down here, this one being used, and we're actually going to see Thu. He did pick up a Panda, and he's actually got two Sappers out right now going into the base of WFZ. Does he see oh, okay, it? He sees targeted. it. Oh, he's going to kill one of them, and one's going to get suicided right on in to that altar, but there's actually another one hiding back at the Goblin Laboratory, and here he comes. Will WFZ actually have the attention and the skill to notice that there's a second one? It looks like it doesn't matter. He's just going to go ahead and suicide that right into the altar, and we can see one of these new bean towers will go down. A spirit tower has been upgraded, and I don't think we're going to see WFZ even worrying about his base at this point. He's got that tower, he's got this destroyer here, and he should be able to hold this just fine by using those ghouls and his units that he already has at home. Yeah, and uh, Thu just sacked uh, hit one of his breakers. Or no, it's gonna be sacked right now. There we oh, go. Level Feeding three. level three to that lich, which is not good. And Thu's mineral lines are uh, gold lines. Sorry, gold mine. Gold mine. Has been uh, taking a lot, like just Oof. been getting decimated right now. That tower is gonna be going down. There's only one more tower holding this, and Thu's trying to do damage on the base of WFC, but he's not gonna be able to do any damage right now. Well he did, he was able to kill the uh, the destroyer that was here, a little bit sloppy play once again from WFC, just a little bit sloppy, uh, but that gave him level 2 on that panda and now, you know, yeah, unfortunately he can't do too much more damage than that. That was a lot of damage, more than what you might expect, or at least more than what I was expecting, uh, and we can just see WFC, yeah, he's been able to pretty much conquer Thu's main base right here, this keep, it's been pretty much conquered, uh, and over here the question is, what does, what does he do in this situation? It's always a pain as the undead player to s decide, do you stay here and spend the time it's going to take him to kill this. I mean, it's going to take quite some time. It takes about a minute to kill one of these keeps with this kind of an army, and that's it's a long time for him to rebuild off at this, at this expansion. And even if you do kill the keep, um, I, you know, what's going to stop him from rebuilding? And he's got a lot of other buildings right here, and he can just rebuild it. Great, great amount of towers and some great spots, and then a keep, or another town hall once again. So, I don't know. Yeah. Um, is is Thu trying to um, just build breakers and then counter the destroyers with his art level five arc mage when he gets it? Is that what's? <laughs> There's you can't really counter destroyers with an arc mage. It doesn't doesn't really work. But um, I mean, you know what I mean though. Like, I, I yeah, mean, I, I'm sure like eventually. Basically, the reason you go spell breakers is because it's a tier two unit that's actually pretty good and it's immune to magic. So you can't nuke it down, you can't attack it with spellbreakers, uh, and it's pretty good against, you know, w with fe when you hero focus with it. So that's really the only reason you make spellbreakers, is just because at tier 2, the human just doesn't have a better unit to go. Uh, so how does he deal with the destroyers? Well, he doesn't really worry about them too much, because you're not going to mass destroyers against a unit that's immune to magic. Yeah. So... But it, and oh, spellbreakers so do decently forcing, against fiends. So he's forcing fiends. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I well, if you would, as as WFZ would ideally want to do right now is either, um, ideally he would like to do abominations or frenzy eagles, and it looks like he's gonna be able to make some abominations. He's got at least one coming, when, and that's really what you want to make something that something that does normal damage against those breakers, and something that won't die to the uh, to the water elementals and the the breath of fire. I mean, ideally, I would say well, frenzy eagles are your best bet against spellbreakers, but. With these heroes, you just wouldn't want to make those guys, so you'd rather make abominations, which he can do. So that's what he's doing. Yeah, and Thu's ground army is looking really scary, actually, with that panda at level three. Um, if he took a fight, 
you know, WFC is not in the best scenario to, um... Well, I to... mean, he's got one Abomination out. I mean, he's only got one Destroyer on the field, but that's enough to really kind of mech up or to muck up his, um, his water elemental counts. And, I mean, we're going to see that happening right here. Will he go ahead and go, yeah, he just goes ahead and eats it, you know, gets some mana for him, and he can focus down the water elementals pretty, pretty handedly with just, uh, just the water, with the one Destroyer. Yeah. And, well, I don't, I'm not really sure what Thu does from here. I mean, he, his main is gone. He's sitting on one base right now. His one, his uh, natural, I, I guess. He's actually going to go into the the base of WFC, yeah. take down the shop, and try to take down these towers, I guess. But yeah. he's going to be met up with the army, and this is going to be a really bad spot. He's in between Cold Tower, um, Black Citadel. Pass his panda's going to. Oh, nice. Oh, pass. there we go. Nice pass. And he's yeah. Gonna have to go, yeah. Yeah, you know, I would say right now in Thu's position, he needs to, his main goal is to buy time and rebuild gold mines. Uh, you know, I mean, his army, it's not a bad army, right? And Panda is not a bad, bad a hero whatsoever. He can actually do a lot when it comes to base racing just because of the fact that he has a Panda that has Brilliance War. So he has lots and lots. I mean, he's level 5 Archmage, that's level 2 Brilliance War, in fact, which is so good. Uh, it's just so good. Because he can just sit there and spam, just spam Breaths of Fire. We're going to see a couple of casters getting nuked down. That might have been two priests right there. Uh, and so Thu would like, he would love to have priests, of course, to go ahead and heal up his army. Uh, and, I, you know, he can always, he can always, he, he can in engage in WFZ's army out in the open. He actually absolutely, absolutely can. I think I think WFZ, unless it's in a really bad position for him, probably is going to have the advantage in the fight, but Thu can still do it because he needs to buy time, and, he, and thinning, thinning WFZ, WFZ's army is not a bad call whatsoever. Yeah, I agree. I agree with what you said, but yeah, he's yeah. going to need to, um, to build uh, another base, though. He's going to need another gold mine going up because right now his economy is not kicking in. He's not even like getting you know remotely where he wants to be and right now wfc oh, doesn't need no. any more economy he needs to keep actually you know slowly yeah yeah look at look at the gold mine look at wfc's gold mine he's got four thousand gold left in it and Thu has fourteen thousand gold mine left in the gold mine he has uh, and he's got it pretty well defended with a lot of towers so i would say wfc really needs to invest in another gold mine that would be helpful i was just i was talking about Thu. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about WFZ. No. No, because I was saying that WFC um, does have a really nice army, and right now with his economy, as he's already broken upkeep, he's just going to have to, like, he can wait to get that extra abomination, to get that extra abomination, you know, that extra fiend, um, and, and push into 70 food. And whereas Thu needs another base so that he can catch up to the army um, that WFC has right now because this army right now is so scary. I'm still completely confused by what you said, but it was English. <laughs> I oh no, I mean I understood the words. I just don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> I just don't quite. Anyway, so the panda he's actually sitting here invisible, but there is going to be a sentry ward right there from Mr. WFC, letting him see that panda and nuke it down and force through to run him back into the back of his base, and hopefully, hopefully he's going to be able to keep that alive. He's got a priest on the way out that he can use if it doesn't get nuked down as soon as he pops out. Which, you know, if he's if he's queued up that way towards the panda, he should be able to come out this way uh, and be oh, fine and be far enough away from those those nasty heroes. But of course, we're going to see through just running out just to make sure that he can get that priest out. It's very important that he does so he can start healing up his, his heroes because he doesn't have he doesn't have a shop over here. So he needs those priests. It's really important. Yeah. I mean, right now we're just seeing WFC wedge his way into this uh, this keep tech now uh, expansion that Thu has. I think and it's a mistake. I think this is absolutely what WFC needs to be doing because right now he's sitting at uh, what is he sitting at? 59 food, and I don't know why he hasn't made another ziggurat to push into 70 food, but that's fine. Um, but he should be pushing into what should be 70 food and and pushing in. I mean, he's well, it's building. low on wood. But for me, the big concern is that he's going to run out of gold soon. I mean, he's only got 2.6k gold left in that gold mine. And this is not going to be an easy base to penetrate. Look at all those towers. I mean, this is going to be very difficult. There's a lot of good defenses here. And it's not like Thu's army is bad. It's, it's a very durable army. They can take a long fight in the tower range without a problem and really come out, if not ahead, close enough that WFZ will end up behind. At least yeah. in my opinion. And now with these two workshops uh, that are going to be making flying machines... Um yeah, WFC is kind of in a bad spot, but I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I would just go for it if I was WFC, but he doesn't seem to want to go for it. He could totally just go for an expansion right now. That would be... He has full map control. 
It would be so good. The and only, the only problem is it's not crept out, and that's, that's the only problem. Yeah, and I mean, as this game continues, he's going to start losing map control because these flying machines are going to counter the destroyers, and then his ground army, which isn't that good, um, is going to be, you know, vulnerable to this well, a one breaker army. He is making a boneyard, so if you can get some frost rooms out, that would be a pretty, pretty effective way to deal with the flying machines. They're not. If if there's a super high count on the flying machines, then air units just don't do that great. But when there's a low count, which you know you're probably gonna see a fairly low count if you have this many spellbreakers out, then a frost worm is pretty tanky, and it one shots most flying machines in general situations. A fl one you know one attack from the the uh, the good old frost worm will kill the flying machine, and I, I'm pretty sure on that. And some someone could cor correct me if I'm wrong. I don't. I don't quite know. I, there's, I, the upgrades sort of matter, and actually, well, that won't happen because we can see there's no upgrades whatsoever on WFC's army, uh, and there's one armor upgrade for the flying machines. But it's, it's been quite some time since I've done that math, but it's it's going to be really close if it's not one shot, so it's going to do a whole lot of damage. In fact, flying machines are 2-1. Huh? Flying machines are 2-1. Well, yeah, yeah, but I was just saying they had one armor upgrade. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, good point. They are 2-1. I, I still actually think the frost worms will still one-shot them, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Because they, because they are heavy armor, so they take a lot of extra damage from magic. Uh, so that's yeah. that's the that's the big kicker. I'm not. So I just I don't know how actually how the upgrades play into that, but we'll, we we might see. Anyway, but we do see there are quite a few destroyers out, and it looks like some of them might have mana. Because yeah, a couple of them do. Uh, so those flying machines do need to retreat right now, and we're gonna see maybe these casters going down. Looks like yeah. You know, one priest down. Will the sorceress go down as well? Actually, gonna live at 16 HP. He probably was not expecting that. Wow, nice. And uh, Thu's begun trying to rebuild his uh, his natural main base, but that's gonna get thwarted. He's gonna cancel those two scout towers, and just you know. Yeah. And those meanwhile, WFC is putting up that necropolis down at his expansion location. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, WFC. Such a good move to get that up. That economy is so important. That gold mine, don't forget, this gold mine has 20,000 base gold in it, which is just an insane amount of gold. Uh, even though this is a map where you, it's similar to Echo Isles in the sense that you both players get one expansion, but there's quite a bit of distance between them, and they're very big, very, very strong gold mines. So, oh, WFCs, uh, destroyers. Yeah, those guys are not. What are you doing? Oh, he's, they're actually going to survive because flying machines actually don't do that much damage, but I well, thought that was going to go a lot different. He lost a couple, which is unfortunate, but... And here comes the ground army, and uh, actually, the uh, Thu's army is in a really good spot. Going to do a lot of damage to these fiends. The Archmage trying to come in here, another destroyer going down, and, um... Where are the... There we go. The flying machines are actually doing a lot of damage to this army, and the breakers are continuing to take down um, a lot of these fiends with the help of the panda, who's getting constantly nuked. Yeah, Castle Tech coming in. Once he gets the Castle Tech, he can upgrade the the nice, some of the really, really good flying machine upgrade, the one that gives him the AOE attack, which is really important. I'm kind of surprised he was willing to fight before he had that. Yeah, losing a lot of flying machines there to those fiends. Actually, losing almost. Eh, no, he still got five, but losing at least like. Well, it's a lot of wood at any at any rate. Yeah. He is getting the um. Actually, is that AOE upgrade a, a tier two? Upgrade? Did I get confused with the bomb bomb upgrade? I don't know. I might have gotten confused. I, I I would find it very unlikely he would be willing to fight without it. So, I probably am wrong on that. Yeah. Now that WFC knows that Thu is tier three, um, gonna target down that altar that is building the paladin right away. Thu's gonna cancel that um that altar. Probably rebuild one in his uh his natural. Expansion. A really good call. Really good call to kill it, go for that altar when you saw the castle. Really, really good call. Yeah, that was really yeah, smart. Was and not to mention, WFC's heroes are 5 and 4, which is pretty scary. Uh, you know, I mean, and dude, he's sitting on 5 and just about 4. He's only 12 experience from 4 on that panda. And he's almost halfway through level 5 on the Archmage. If he can get level 6 on that Archmage, then we might be able to see some very cool uh, type of play. There's that Frostworm. And the flying machines are going to scout the expansion as well. Um, which is going to go up, and that's really good for WFC. It's very it's very late, but, you know, that's okay. It's fine. I mean, we can see Thu has already mined out 1,300 gold at this expansion, but he's got 5,600 gold that he did not mine out from his main. So, really, WFC is only around 5,000 gold behind right now, which is not not bad whatsoever. Uh, whenever you're in a human versus undead situation, generally the human gets a lot more gold than that, so Thu is running on fumes in some sorts of senses. I think WFC is going to go right into the base and... Oh, no, he's going to see, um... 
Did he see those flying machines? He might have. He looks he's he playing did. like he did. Yeah, I think he did. He's gonna try to intercept them, but I think with this army, he could just try to run in and try to take down those towers at the the main the natural expansion. I don't know. He's, he's gonna be feeding a panda if he does, and if, you know if that panda hits level five, then if that panda hits level five and that that archmage hits level six, ooh, that's that's a scary. That is yeah, you don't want to be playing. It's a mass teleport level five panda army. Yeah, that's oh. that gets a little absurd, especially seeing as it's Thu. He can abuse anything. Well, yeah, I mean, no matter how many towers you put up at this expansion, if there's a level five to panda and a level six archmage, it, it's not going to matter. You're going to lose all your towers, all your acolytes. Probably going to lose your gold mine. Be very scary. So, so I think WOZ has to be very careful right now to not engage any kind of careless fight. Yeah, and through uh, building that paladin uh, at the natural expansion, and continuing to rally out flying machines, and he's actually going to go to this. Um... Okay, then WSC is going to TP into the expansion. I thought that uh, he was going to leave those two fiends to die, but not yet, <laughs> not today. And I did. I was able to look. The frost room did not one shot the flying machine. He's got that one armor, and I think I think that it was very close. It was so close. He had like 20 HP, so I think if he didn't have that armor, the frost room would. So it looks like it's probably a one one type deal. One to one ratio type deal, if that makes that nice. makes some sense. I, I think I'm guessing here, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, we probably won't because I don't know if WZ, WFZ will ever actually upgrade his, his thing. So I'll have to, maybe I'll have to look at that later myself, which is cool. Paladin is out now. Nice oh. breath of fire on that shade. Um, the flying machine did scout it, and uh, the Paladin's going to come out now. This is just going to give um, through more damage. More focus onto the Sphinx, because ultimately when he takes that fight, he's going to Breath of Fire, try to focus it down with a Holy Light, and, um, and I mean, it's just going to come down to whether he can level up his heroes to do even more damage as the day, as the fight goes on, I guess. But, um, I mean, WFC's army isn't that scary. It will... I mean, not as scary as it was when Thu didn't have this army. I mean, this is, I mean, Thu's definitely done a great job. I mean, he's got an army that can definitely fight with that definitely can fight WFC um, but but still he's gonna have to be I think both players are gonna have to be really careful right now because a mistake on a, a major mistake by either player right now maybe even a minor one could cost them the, the battle that we're seeing right now level 5 being picked up by that lich and it looks like I mean the flying machines haven't been very effective in this fight in fact it looks like they're all gonna die uh, and without those flying machines Thu is gonna be really far behind the only thing I could see him imagine him doing right now is just trying to troll for experience because that's <laughs> That's really the main resource he needs right now in these fights, and that's really all he's going to get, but he's feeding a lot to WFC as well. Of course, WFC already has the high-level heroes for the undead player, so it's not going to benefit greatly too much from getting higher-level heroes. I mean, it would be nice, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, whereas for Thu, getting higher-level hero heroes right now would be super, super, super cool. Super good for him. Divine yep, Shield, Paladin, gonna... Mass Teleportation, etc. And he invis uh, invisible that paladin. I wonder if that's how he knows that the uh, DK was stuttering there, or if he's thinking like lag. But <laughs> oh no, the paladin! Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, the paladin just not, not having a good day. This is looking really good for WFZ right now. Yeah, it is. It's actually looking like game over at this point. Um, Thu doesn't have the economy to rebuild that army. That frost room is still alive. Which was the pinnacle of he needed to destroy that. He's process. still got seven thousand two hundred gold left in this gold mine, but yeah, yeah. But the end has an expansion with eighteen thousand. This is true, but again, you know, Thu can keep fighting. If he gets level six in the Archmage, then really the Undead's expansion becomes more of a liability, honestly. Uh, against I'm, this I'm looking at Thu with like forty-eight food, having to bank now. And I'm seeing um, WFC with a huge army, 160 60 food with an expansion, and continuing to bake units. I'm surprised he's actually not building another frost room when he can. He's probably going well, he's, to, because he's that's... A lack of gold. Unfortunately, Thu's just throwing these flying machines away. I don't know why he's doing that. That's it's really sloppy. Yeah, it is. It's not, it's not like Thu. Usually he doesn't, he doesn't play very sloppy. And he's I mean, actually throwing even more to the expansion. Like, they're yeah. dying to the, the tower. Well, you're not going to kill that Necropolis with the flying machine. And this is what WFC is deciding to do. He's just going to go for it. And this is what he needs to do. There's, like, zero flying machines. The, pal uh, the panda can breath of fire, but, I mean, you're not going to kill anything. As long as you're yeah. careful with spoils. And um, WFC is going to slowly wedge his way into this uh, natural expansion base. 
of Thu. This is and the first time I would agree with uh, with him going for a death push right now. Because at this point, even if he does, even if Thu does get like high level heroes right now, it, higher level heroes, it really wouldn't matter that much as long as he does enough damage right now. It's it's still a risky play, but I wouldn't, I would, I would, I think it would be a good move. I, I think we, I think banking would be a good move too right now for uh, well not banking but you know. Uh, just waiting right now. I think. I think. I don't think that WFZ has a bad move, short of like just suiciding units. I think he can do whatever he wants. He's he's quite far ahead. Yeah, he is very far ahead. And that expansion is just going to get him more and more far ahead. I think upgrades would be a really smart investment by Fu or by WFC. I mean, Fu has such good upgrades. Three one on those flying machines. Zero one on the spellbreakers. Okay, that's not that good. But the flying machines are really really nice. And now he's researching that disease cloud. So. Um, that's gonna be it. That'll be nice. It's always really strong against. It's really really strong against spellbreakers, especially if you don't have a bunch of priests out. Yeah. We see and some the, hero focus on the paladin, maybe. Nope, the archmage. Arch oh, go down. oh wow, wow, that was fast. That was fast, and the archmage going down. The frost room's gonna die though, which is what Thu needed. Now he can actually take a fight with no archmage or not. Um, these bre uh, is the pal. Oh the man, the pan is gonna get nuked down as well, and um, destroyers being. Taking out as well, but these spellbreakers are doing so much damage to the fiends and the paladin, um, the holy light doing so much damage as well. Is uh, through remaking his archmage, he should be doing that as soon as possible. But um, he doesn't really have money for it. I mean, I guess he could maybe cancel that flying machine, but he still wouldn't have money for it. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Thu's not out of this yet. He does look in a really bad spot, but um, that death knight's really low with no TP. And don't sack your spellbreakers. Where are they going? Mm, I, I don't know. I, I really don't have a clue. I mean, I guess he's just trying to buy time for his base, his army. Maybe there comes the archmage buying back at the altar. But uh, it's level five. It's gonna take about three years, two days, six months. Yeah, I mean, minutes. just set, set your watch for like one year timer. He'll yeah. come out then. Breath of fire. Oh, nice. He's got a lot of mana still on the uh, the panda, so he can he can't just sit here and kind of breath of fire. There's no statues out. The unholy aura isn't gonna out regenerate it. But Death Knight's pretty low on mana. He's got enough for one coil. The Lich has a good amount of mana though. Uh, and we're just gonna see these staff sanctuaries being used on the spellbreakers. Of course, the destroyers can actually just eat that and dispel it and it'll give them mana and health back. Uh, so maybe we'll see that. Of course, there's now a statue coming back into the fight for Mr. WFC. So that'll help counteract all this this Mr panda nonsense but of course he's gonna get nuked a little bit down but he's gonna get a holy light it's only level one holy light so it's not very powerful the paladin the panda the paladin is level two now so he does have divine shield so he's a little bit more tanky in these fights but um i mean actually thu is he's got pretty much what he's got he might be able to make a couple more flying machines before this fight does actually happen again the archmage is going to come out pretty much in time for the next fight as well uh, if, if, from the way it looks like WFC is playing, he might back off just a little bit here in a bit because it would not be a bad choice, I think, for WFC just to wait. I mean, at this point, there's not a lot of gold mine, gold left in the gold mine over there for Mr. Or not gold. Well, there's gold. There's 5,000 gold. Um, oh, keep in mind, this Lich is level 6. We could see, um, the ultimate going down at the expansion. It could, could take down the towers and the main. I mean, all that WFC would have to do is continue to, to, uh, you know, coil that Lich. Yeah, because there's no bolt. There's nothing to actually interrupt the death and decay. No. Well, uh, that's a possibility as well. The Archmage is, is going to come out right now. Yeah. How close is he to level 6? Let's see. Oh, uh, he's kind of far still. Yeah, he is. He's just not been able to snipe units. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, and this army is just really crazy for WFC. And he's actually going to try to nuke. Oh, he's not going to be able to nuke down that Paladin. does pop that Divine Shield. And uh, good thing he did, because that would have been pretty scary. Mm -hmm. And Thu will take a fight in this position any day. Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. He's not worried about that at all. And I think WFC wants to, uh, to give him it, which is a really bad I mean, call. He wants to just lure him out. But lure there is a Frostworm on the way. Two-thirds done, and this Frostworm is going to be so right important. There's not, enough, not nearly enough flying machines to counter this. And I think this is where WFC is getting a little bit out of control with his um, his army. The Paladin's getting nuked down. It's going to get Holy Light, but still, that's not a really good Holy Light at level one. Um, doesn't really do the job for you. Yeah. Flying machines coming in here, trying to do some damage to these destroyers. So he's going to uh, have to have insane micro right now. Yeah, he is, and I'm not even I'm not sure he's going to. I don't I don't even know if the micro can can hold this. Frostworm on its way, literally to the fight. And this is going to do so much more damage. He's going to be able to take down that... Oh, wow. Nice haste fire. 
I think you will. No, nope, nope, it's gonna it's get quilled. Actually, he still might. Maybe, maybe not. Where's the Breath of Fire Holy Light combo? Oh, there's no Holy Light combo coming in. There could be a Breath of Fire. Oh, and a Fiend and an Abomination gonna go down. I mean, right now, really, the one thing that Thu needs is a lot more flying machines. Uh, and he's and he's gonna get a level five Banda soon. That would be really powerful. Level three Paladin soon, if ish, ish, ish. Eh, and probably. Not. I mean, it's it's he's cutting it so close right now. I mean, more flying machines being made, but like you said, if he gets that level three Paladin, he's gonna be in a great spot, especially if he gets that level five uh, Panda. That's gonna be crazy good. And yeah, if he uh, could just get a, one more hero. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice stuff on the Paladin. <laughs> oh wow, that was crazy. Yeah, that was pretty insane. And I mean, that Paladin's gonna take a while to heal. Not to mention he has to sit right at the front of the base. He's totally vulnerable to getting nuked. Oh, he's just gonna cancel it and uh... Well, it's not can it was actually eaten by WFZ. Oh, nice. I mean, that was beneficial for Well, Duke. it wasn't, it wasn't, because he can't nuke him down. He's immune to magic during that, so he can't attack him with any of those air units. He'd have to attack him with the uh, the Fiends and the Lich, and that it would be questionably useful. I don't know. It might have been good, it might not have been, but he did go ahead and eat it at any rate. You know, and honestly, if Thu, if Thu is able to get, uh, I don't know, if he could just get up to like 60, 70 food of flying machines, he probably would be able to take the game. But I don't. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think so either. Especially as more and more are getting uh, targeted down here. He just needs to sit. Like use the trees, all that good stuff. You know, use your positioning. That frost room's really low, and a breath of fire. Oh, didn't do keep that much on, damage. Yeah, keep, do keep bringing do. Well, he's got a haze fire. Haze fire is always really nice. And you know, just keep doing what you can. Kite, kite the air units. Just keep it up. And you know, maybe try to wear down WFC's army. If he can just get to the, if he can just get one more level on all those heroes, he'll be sitting so much better off. He'll actually have a chance to win, I think. But right now, I don't think he's got a chance unless he can actually level up those heroes. And that paladin's so far away. And the the panda's not as far away, but if you can't kill the unit, it's you know a little scary. Well, yeah, yeah, it's gonna come down to him being able to uh, kill some units, and that's that's gonna be hard. Yep, and WFC is going to go to the shop, he's going to buy two Scrolls of Healing and he's going to work his way back over there. And I mean, with Scrolls of Healing at that point, it basically counters the Panda at this point. Yeah. Um, and as soon as, I think Thu's going to scout that, he's going to get really upset. Because he's going to Breath of Fire, is he going to Breath of Fire? And oh. one Flying Machine getting taken down. Oh, the Flying Machine's almost getting intercepted by the army there, but actually now WFC's in a great position. He's actually holding the position, um, oh never mind, he's going to back up. But I think he was in a good spot there to target down those flying machines. And look at this ground army, he's gonna go to town on this abomination. A nice breath of fire coming in again, and this is Thu's final push definitely at this point. All the flying machines are getting targeted down. He's trying to take down that frost room, is he gonna be able to? I don't think so. More and more flying machines are gonna take it down. Only three are left. Um, yeah. There's a lot of breakers, but they don't uh, shoot up, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, and, I mean, and this is just, it's kind of getting slow. Worse and worse for Thu as the game progresses. That panda might fall down. He's going to go ahead and take a nap right there. A nice little dirt nap. Uh, and, and I mean, the, the, pa the paladin's completely exposed right here. Does he have a divine uh, shield up? Gonna go down no. Uh, he's like, you know what? I'm a little tired, too. How about that dirt nap? Uh, How about that dirt nap? And WFC is going to take down arguably the best player in the world. Arguably. Two to one. I, I would say Thu's probably the best player in the world right now. Um, but yeah, absolutely. What a great game. What a great series. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is definitely going to be game three. The conclusion of the series it was kind of a long game. 37, 38 minutes. Um, wow, what a, that was great. That was really nice. That was really enjoyable to watch. I just... I, I had some faith in Thu in that game. I really thought he might be able to pull it out. But he just... he You know, honestly, I think the biggest issue was that he got sloppy with those flying machines cuz he cuz he, flying machines are a unit that the more you have they get they they get stronger faster in groups so like you know the difference between like 5 and 10 isn't a huge thing but the difference between like 10 and 15 is pretty big so if he just hadn't lost he just, he just threw so many flying machines away that game it was it was hard to watch but i mean it is what it is. Uh, great games, great games all around. That's game 3. So if you are watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. I was going to be like, if you're watching on YouTube, there might be an annotation to Game 4. There's actually not a Game 4. So if you're on stream, <laughs> th thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And 
As usual, we'll be here tomorrow at 9 o'clock, hopefully. If all things go well, they should. So feel free You're to check it out. You're not going to thank me for coming on the channel? Uh, I haven't finished talking, man. Oh, uh, okay. You seem like you were going to turn it off. Sorry. No, sorry. I got other things to say. I was going to say, if you would like live updates for when the stream goes live, you can always follow the stream at twitch.tv slash preview. Or you can check me out at twitter.com slash therapy, where you can follow where you get all kinds of live updates and real-time information. It's kind of cool. And, of course, Thanks. thank you to bdu.tv, or bdu TV, bdu, for joining me for a cast. It was always fun and a pleasure Thanks. to do a cast with you. And is there anything, any last I'm, words you'd I'm like to glad, say? I'm glad that you um, you asked me to do this because you did, you know, step down from the Zotac Cups, which we More did together. So, I mean, this is kind of our only way to, uh, to dual commentary together. So... Glad that we actually finally did it. Um, I was really, I was really entertained by the games. They were great games. And there's always going to be more games to come, guys. So uh, yeah, follow his channel, subscribe to his channel on YouTube, and um, I mean you already are, or you're watching them. <laughs> so if you're on Twitch, follow his channel, follow my channel. Follow everyone's channel. Yeah, I was getting ready to say before we concluded, I was just going to say, don't forget if you enjoyed Bidu's casting to check him out. Follow him at twitch.tv slash TV. And that's all we have time for, guys, tonight. So thanks again so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See ya.